Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the monitor that you can see behind me. It's Samsung's new 4K Ultra HD monitor and it is a very interesting product. So without further ado, let's begin this review. So taking a look at the monitor, let's start from the outside. It does have a very nice design. It's nice and simple. Uh, it looks good and just the way they've designed the bezels means that you can have it alone or with a few more of these units and it'll look great. So that's definitely a plus. It comes on a stand that is you know, brushed aluminum and there's a chrome outline on the monitor itself which is made of real metal. But the overall construction of the body is plastic but it does have a stainless steel type brushing on it so it does make it look very very nice. The overall weight of the monitor is very very light so you can lift this up no problem and it feels a lot lighter than the size because it is a 28 inch screen. Now getting into some of the features it does have a resolution of 3840 by 2160 which is a standard 4k resolution and it definitely does a good job in displaying images um, and also one of the biggest things about this monitor the reason why everybody's going crazy over it is because it's 60 Hertz which means that it, uh, it has 60 frames per second capabilities and it's gonna do a lot better than some of the other monitors that are 4k out there in the market because they offer 30 frames per second and now the biggest difference is the price tag because if you want to get a 60 Hertz monitor it's gonna cost you quite a lot of money and that's why this monitor is pretty much the exception because it's offering you a low price point and giving you the performance that you'd want to get from a higher end 4k monitor now that isn't to say this is not an IPS display it does have a TN panel that's powering the um, 4k display inside so some of you guys might be a little turned off by that but the monitor uses 8-bit sub-pixel processing and frame rate controlled dithering to offer you 1 billion colors. Now what this basically means uh, in terms of image on this monitor, it's going to give you very accurate colors or more accurate than you would see on a regular TN panel. In terms of viewing angles, this monitor again does a really good job uh, from side to side. The only issue I've had is looking from a position where the monitor is a little bit above my eyesight, uh, having a little higher mint, I looked at it from down below and that really did cause a little bit of an issue there is no issues from side to side just up and down does offer a little bit of a color shift so taking a look at the ports at the back of the monitor it has one display port and two HDMI ports the display port is the only port that offers full 4k 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames per second and 60 Hertz refresh rate while the two HDMI cables offer 4K resolution, but at a reduced frame rate of 30 frames per second or 30 hertz. Um, so for a lot of you guys, that might be a downside, but then again, you can use DisplayPort for any of your needs. Now, it works pretty well, and it's easy to get a hold of these days since a lot more monitors have DisplayPorts. Let's take a look at Samsung's picture-in-picture -picture mode. I think this is the most useful mode for somebody that has multiple inputs. Because this monitor is 4K, they do allow picture in picture mode as you can see it basically splits the two inputs on a left and right side basically giving you uh, two separate sides of the monitor to use for two different inputs which is definitely very useful as you can see I have an Xbox one hooked up to the right side and my window set up on my left and I can do both things simultaneously uh, I can watch something play a game and quickly go back to using my computer or vice versa and it just works really well the way they have implemented this now taking a look at the monitor in terms of gaming uh, this is Xbox one being played at 1080p at 60 Hertz it does work really well and I, I was having a blast playing on this monitor it does look very very nice even though it is on 1080p uh, you think it might have a little bit of issues in terms of sharpness or downscaling because it is a 4k monitor but it did look very sharp and crisp I had no issues whatsoever now in terms of buttons there's really none on this monitor it has a one toggle stick on the back which is used for controlling the menu and of course turning the monitor on so its main primary power button and as you can see it's easy to access it's on the lower right side of the screen and through the button you basically control it like a thumbstick and press it in to access the menu and the menu is pretty interesting um, it has a lot of settings that you can actually go through and change in terms of color calibration the image size options um, and the inputs you can use from there uh, it is a bit of an issue turning the monitor on and off sometimes it doesn't recognize what you wanted to do but overall it works good 
There are some downsides though with the design. There's no vase mount or any type of mount on the back, so this monitor cannot be mounted, um, which is a definite downside because it is so light. It would have been great uh, if you couldn't mount this with a few other monitors. Uh, the second thing is the stand that it comes with doesn't give you any versatility in terms of movement. The only thing it offers is 15 degree uh, tilt. Other than that, there's no swivel, there's no up and down, uh, pretty much no movement capabilities whatsoever. So when you're positioning this monitor at home, you have to take that into consideration. Uh, definitely a downside for me since I found that I was looking at it from down to up and the tilt didn't really help. So overall, this monitor is definitely really nice. Uh, it does have a lot of features and a good price point for the features that it offers. So if you're interested in this monitor, make sure to uh, check out the link down below. It's an Amazon affiliate link, so it'll help us out uh, if you do decide to buy it. And also, if you like this video, make sure to click that like button and share it with your friends. It helps us out quite a bit. And uh, we do have a Facebook page where we update our content quite often. So make sure to check that out. And thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time.